Good morning, Hamilton. Today is Wednesday, January 3rd, and it's a brand new year. Happy New Year. It's 2024. Very, very exciting. When we were last at school, it was 2023, and over our winter break, we got to do a lot of fun things, and one of those things was celebrate our new year, and it is now 2024. Very, very exciting. I'm happy that you're here. I hope that you had a wonderful time at um, at home over your break. We missed you a lot and we're very glad that you're back. It was a long time at home. Um, so we need to make sure we're starting to switch our brains to say, you know, I was at home for a long time where I was able to do certain things. I need to switch my brain back into school mode because now I need to be making school choices. For example, when I was at home, I would wake up, I would eat my breakfast, I would then play with my kids a little bit, and then I'd go and get out of my pajamas around 10 or 11 o'clock. I had to change that today. I couldn't come to work in my pajamas today. I had to switch my brain from break mode back into school mode and make school a school choice. You need to be doing that same thing today. How can you be making school choices today? Because our break is done and now we're back in school where we're expected to work hard and be kind. I know that you can do that and I hope to see friends making those types of choices today. I have to show off real quick my bow tie. I got this over the break. It is a bison bow tie. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I know, I'm, I'm excited about it too. All right, we have some exciting things to talk about today. We're not going to be doing a vocabulary word of the week this week. It's a short week. Um, next week, whenever we're back, we will do a, um, or next week, whenever we're having a full week, we will do a new vocabulary word. Okay. We had our Wordy Worm essay contest, and we had so many people submit essays for it, which was really great. And we had some winners that were highlighted from our school. So I wanted to just shout out those winners, but also shout out everyone who did participate in the contest. Great job. So our winners are Cairo Davenport in first grade, Audrey Bertoli in first grade. We also have Raphael St. John in third grade, Caleb Van Dusen in third grade, Thayer Bell in third grade, and Mia Morales Rivas in fourth grade. Congratulations, friends. Ms. Musser is going to be coming around and talking with you about it, and um, there's going to be more to come uh, in the future. All right, we have a brand new Core Essential, and this is so perfect for um, being back in school in January in 2024. It is responsibility, proving you can be trusted with what is expected of you. I was just talking about school choices and how I expect you to be working hard and being kind. That's what's expected of you at school. And that's what I'm going to be looking to make sure everyone's doing today. Switch back into school mode. Responsibility is a set of behaviors that includes making dependable, being dependable, making good decisions, and taking responsibility for your actions. So admitting when you did something that was wrong. Responsibility can be as simple as helping with household chores or taking care of a pet or doing what you're supposed to do in school making, um, doing your normal routine in the morning, getting your work done, helping someone out. This month, we're describing it as proving you can be trusted with what's expected of you. So think about what's expected of you as a Hamilton student, working hard and being kind. How are you going to show that today? All right. I'm so happy that you're here. Make today a wonderful first day of school in 2024. And at this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> 